I hope that the Russians have actually definitively proven that the vaccine is safe and effective. I seriously doubt that they've done that. Recently, Russian President Vladimir Putin announced that Russia has developed the vaccination of coronavirus, which he claimed him and his daughter have already used it. This announcement caused a great deal of debate in social media. While some people started celebrating and becoming hopeful, some others did not believe it can be true. Today, in this video, we're going to clear some water about this topic. Hello guys, welcome to Inspire. And today, in this video, we are going to talk about how vaccines are developed and what is the status of development of coronavirus vaccine around the globe as of today. Vaccines are anything that protects you against the diseases. Vaccines are usually made from the components of the agents, virus or bacteria that cause the disease themselves. For example, coronavirus vaccine will be made from some components of the virus that cause coronavirus itself. Now I'll try to explain you in simple terms, different phases that happen during a vaccine development. First stage is exploratory. In this stage, scientists try to find out different components of the virus and then they will develop the vaccine using the component of the virus. Second stage is preclinical trial. In the preclinical trial, they will try to use the developed vaccine into some animals like monkeys or, and rats and then see the immunity developed in them. And then if they generate enough immunity, then it goes to clinical trial. In clinical trial, the test is done, test of the vaccine is done in the human and there are three different phases inside the clinical trial as well. In the first phase, the trial of the vaccine is done among few people, like 10 to 100 people. And then it is tested if enough people generate enough immunity from the virus or not. If it is safe and enough people generate immunity, it goes into second stage. In this stage, hundreds of people are tested for the vaccine. People are categorized into different groups as well. If stage two is successful, it goes to stage three of clinical trial. It is one of the most rigorous experiment and it will be conducted in thousands of people and may be conducted in population of different countries. There will be samples taken from different age groups, young, old people, children, and then the vac effectiveness of the vaccination is measured. And also it will be found out if more than 50% of the people are immune against the disease or not. That is one of the criteria FDA will approve the vaccination or not. If stage 3 is successful of clinical trial, it goes into next stage, that is the approval stage. After reviewing all the experiments, government will finally decide if the vaccination is ready to be approved or not. And if it is approved, then only it goes into manufacturing, production and then transportation of the vaccination will be done into different parts of the country and in different countries around the world itself. Now let's talk about the status of development of coronavirus vaccines all around the world as of today. More than 135 vaccines are currently in preclinical stage. 20 vaccines are in phase one of clinical stage. 11 vaccines are in phase two. Eight vaccines are in phase three and two vaccines already are approved for limited use and those vaccines are developed in China and Russia. Those two vaccines approved for limited use in uh, China and Russia, let's talk about them in brief. In China, the vaccine is developed by CanSino Biologics in partnership with the Military Academy of China. The Chinese military has already approved for its limited use. However, stage three of clinical trial, it's still happening in China, Saudi Arabia, and some other countries. Another interesting one is the Russian vaccine. On August 11, Russian President Vladimir Putin announced the approval of coronavirus vaccine named Sputnik V from his social media. Many scientific communities around the world are doubting the effectiveness of this vaccine since the vaccine has not even gone through its phase three of clinical trial yet. Now let's talk about eight vaccines which are in phase three of clinical trial. First one is being developed by American company called Moderna. The clinical trial is being run on a approximately 30,000 Americans. American government has already given $1.5 billion in exchange for 100 million doses of 
vaccines if the vaccine is effective. The vaccination should be with us by the end of 2021 if everything goes well. The second vaccination is being developed by a German company called BioNTech in collaboration with American company Pfizer and for some pharma. Uh, American government has again awarded 1.5 billion dollars in exchange for 100 million uh, doses of vaccinations if the vaccination is effective. Phase 3 trial was launched in 27th of July with 30,000 volunteers from America and several other countries. Four vaccines are being currently developed in different research institutes in China. One being CanSinoBio. This, this is the one which is already being approved for limited use by Chinese military academy. Second one is Wuhan Institute of Biological Products. The clinical trial is being happening in UAE. Same with Beijing Institute of Biological Products. The clinical trial is happening in UAE at the moment. And fourth is Sinovac. And the clinical trial is happening in Brazil and Indonesia at the moment. Another vaccine in stage 3 of a clinical trial is being developed by a British Swedish company called AstraZeneca in collaboration with University of Oxford. Um, the clinical trial is being run in different countries like England, India, Brazil and South Africa. The interesting thing about this vaccine is that the company claims the vaccination can be out as early as in October if everything goes according to the trial, which makes us really hopeful about the vaccine. And the last vaccine, which is in phase three of clinical trial, is being developed in uh, an Australian research institute, which is doing trial on tuberculosis vaccine to see if it can produce immunity against coronavirus. Now let's talk about the vaccine development, which are in phase two and phase one of development. Uh, so there are two Indian companies. They are in phase two of clinical trial. There are um, three American companies, including Johnson & Johnson, which are in phase two of clinical trial. There is one Japanese company and there are two Chinese companies, which are currently in phase two. And there are roughly 20 companies around the world, which are in phase one of clinical trial. And there are more than 135 vaccines being developed, which are in preclinical phase of trial. When we talked about different phases of vaccine development, uh, we came to know that China is doing really great with the development of vaccine. But there are some concerns regarding the quality of the development of vaccines in China. Ten years ago, four children were killed and 74 other people were harmed by getting the vaccinations which were not properly stored. In 2016, tens of millions of dollars worth of vaccines were sold around the globe by China, which were out of date. Experts say that Chinese research is not bad in itself, but the corruption in the country and poor production condition raise questions about the quality of the vaccines. Also, since Chinese companies are really ahead in the game of uh, producing coronavirus vaccine, it will be really interesting to see how other developed countries will react to this and if China will help them or not. Lastly, Everyone is talking about vaccines, its development, but what about the logistics of the vaccines? How the vaccines will be carried from its origin where it will be developed to remote parts of the world? How the developing countries will be receiving those vaccines? In what conditions they will be received? It is high time the countries start evaluating how they will be receiving those vaccines in proper quality manner so that they are citizen will get the best vaccines possible. Country need to think about cold chain maintenance during the transport. That is all for today. Thank you very much for being with us. I hope you like the video. If there is any comment, compliment or feedback, please don't forget to write in the comment section and like our channel, subscribe and share with your friends and help us reach to a broader audience. Thank you very much.